all and welcome back to my little corner of the internet my name is Lilith and before we get into today's video don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you never miss a video from me and don't forget to like this video if you like it it helps so 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 much with the algorithm we are also in the middle of trying to reach the 4,000 watch hours goal so if you could queue up another video of mine after this video watch another video all the way through after this one it would help me so much to reaching that goal it would mean so much to me thank you all for helping us reach that goal okay on to the video hello good morning it is monday morning and we are on our way to the grocery store we've got to grab groceries a meal prep and then i'm headed to my boyfriend's house this evening so we have a lot to do not a lot of time let's get to it okay i am home from the stores here is everything that I got. First of all, a bag of potatoes. Kale. Um, some brown rice noodles. Sriracha, we're almost out of sriracha, so I had to grab some more. Bananas and garlic. Then we got some strawberries. Some oat milk. We got some pesto to go with the pasta. We're gonna make a little pesto pasta. Broccoli, cabbage, cucumber, spinach, asparagus, tofu, and we got a green goddess dressing and a spicy cashew dressing. As you can see, we're going with a very green theme this week. I got some more Panda Pups for snacks and cereal on the weekend. Cherry tomatoes, lemons, more bananas, avocado, and some mandarins. And then I also went to Rabbit Food so I could pick up a couple things for Valentine's Day. This is the first one. The herbivorous butcher meat-free porterhouse steak. I only got one because it's really big, so I'm gonna cut it in half, grill it up, and serve this with some potatoes and asparagus for Valentine's Day, which is one week from today, but I'm celebrating with my nesting partner on Saturday, so I had to go ahead and pick up the stuff for it. And then also I got some white chocolate and semi-sweet chocolate so that I can decorate the Valentine's Day treats that I'm making. All right, I need to put all of this away, make lunch really quickly, and then cut up a few things that need to be cut up. I'm trying Trader Joe's because I'm trying to bring our grocery bill down. I am not happy with the amount of plastic everything is in, but honestly, right now, I am having to just, I'm having to just roll with it because I need to spend less money on groceries. So, lunch time. Good, good. Let's do that. And this week, the fruit that I bought, I, sp I did buy strawberries, but I also got mandarins. I love it. Mm, yep. Those are good. <laughs> Toasty time. Toasty time. I look forward to checking that out. Nice goals all around. Okay, we're running a little bit behind. It's about five o'clock. I was supposed to leave at 4.30, but it's okay. I got what I needed to get done done, so I'm going to rush off, and then I probably won't talk to you guys again until tomorrow. But tomorrow, we've got a lot of work to get done, a lot of computer work, so we're gonna hop on it, and then we also have a date. And then we also have a date tomorrow afternoon, and possibly tomorrow night. We'll see. We'll see how things play out. But tomorrow morning, get up, work on the computer, and get as much done as we can. Okay, so I stayed at my boyfriend's house for a while this morning and did some computer work, and now I'm about to have lunch, and then I have to shower and head to a friend's house um, because I'm doing some stuff with a friend this afternoon. So hopefully I will get time to work when I get back from that, but I don't know how long I'm going to be there. But lunch this week. I think I mentioned to y'all that this week's theme for food is green because we need more greens, and... We need to feel better and healthier 
uh, especially because we ate crap over the weekend. So, this is our Buddha bowl today. <laughs> there is spinach, salt and pepper tofu, cucumbers, cherry tomatoes, some leftover quinoa, and a green goddess dressing and pumpkin seeds. Yeah. So kind of cold. Is it? I'm sorry. Well, it's warm. Mm, I'm not saying it's not good. It's not what I want when I think of ramen. No, I understand. I, I get that. I smelt it. I was excited. Okay, so I didn't end up going over to my friend's house. We switched it to later tonight because she's running behind. Um, so I sat on my computer and did a bit more work and now I'm gonna go wash my hair. For this video, I originally set out to film a super productive work week vlog. I was gonna get all of my to-dos done and filming it would help keep me accountable. But as you can probably see from the title, life had other plans for me this week. Okay, full disclosure, this video was filmed over two weeks, mostly because I had to take so many days off in those weeks that I ended up with only one week's worth of footage. I didn't really film on the days that I didn't work. <sighs> okay, I wanna show you all my lunch and then I wanna talk for a second. So, this is what is for lunch. Beautiful avocado toast with spinach and cherry tomatoes and pumpkin seeds, pickled onions, balsamic, sriracha, and some orange slices. Now, <sighs> I know this is supposed to be a productive week vlog, but let me just be real with y'all for a second. I have spent all morning on the phone with Apple support. I've been having an issue with my iCloud syncing and storage and stuff like that. And I can't make these videos if I am having these issues. So I didn't get any work done this morning. I think we figured it out and I think it's like syncing now and stuff but I'm waiting for my computer to restart and my iPad to update and all the things so hopefully this afternoon will be more productive but I think this means that I'm probably not getting a nap today until unless I take one like later later which like before dinner which I might still do but for right now I'm gonna sit down and relax and have lunch and then try and get work done after lunch and hope that everything is working now. Yep. 
Okay, um, I'm gonna be real with you guys. My plan for this vlog was to be a productive work week. And sometimes we don't get to choose if it's gonna be that productive. And that is what this week has turned into. Yesterday, I ended up not working. I took a mental health day. I got a couple things done and that was it. Same for today. I did one of the things on my side quest list and I might do a couple other things, but I'm not doing any major work today. Um, but like, you know, life happens, shit happens, and we're not always able to be as productive as we would like to be. I ended up having to stay up really late last night. Um, so I tried to sleep in a little bit today. I did not get up and go to the gym. I didn't get up and work out. I got up and I made breakfast. And then I sat down at my computer and got a couple things done. But I'm also now having to work on this other situation. So... This is just me being 100% real with y'all. Not everything is as pretty and aesthetic and positive all the time. And I'm not super productive 100% of the time. As much as I wish I could be. And mental health days are important. And that is something that I have never had the luxury of taking. And I do right now, which I feel so lucky for. I am finally ahead enough to be able to do that which is amazing and really awesome and stuff, but I know that taking this time is gonna help me get back to being that productive quicker. So I guess what I'm saying for y'all is do not be too hard on yourself when you can't be as productive as you want to be or you usually are. Things happen that are out of your control and you have to roll with it. And if that means that you need to take time for your mental health and be less productive, or sleep more, or rest more, or whatever you need, take that time because you will get back to being the person that you want to be quicker if you do that, if you're able to do that at least. All right, I'm gonna make lunch now, then I'm gonna try and get a couple more things done, but then I'm going to try to do something for me the rest of the day. Okay, here's what I made for lunch, avocado toast, it's got some spinach, cucumber, pickled red onions, sunflower seeds, shut up phone, orange slices, little maldon, balsamic, and hot sauce. Super simple. So, life happens. Good things and bad things. You take a mental health day to recover your focus only to have something happen that night. Throw off your focus for days to come. All you can do is ride that wave. Remember that not every day has to be peak productivity. And who would want it to be? That's one way to burn out real quick. And this year we are trying to avoid that. So I can stay consistent with content across all the platforms. Good morning. All right, so this morning I got up, I worked out. Our gym is actually closed for the rest of the week, so I worked out at home. Luckily we have like one dumbbell and it was enough for me today. I am still in my workout clothes and I did not get ready for the day because I'm gonna sit down and try and get all of my work done super quick so that I can get ready because tonight we are going to a concert. Uh, it's our first concert since January of 2020 and it's actually the same person that we saw January 2020 before lockdown so we're gonna go see Solomon King tonight he was our last concert before lockdown and our first concert back so I'm super excited but I also want to make sure that I have time to like get ready and like actually look nice going out to a concert I'm so excited I've not been to live music in two years and if you knew me before you know that I went to festivals and shows all the time and I miss it so much so excited to finally get to go back I've been to the I've been to a show at this place before but this was but that was like 
I don't know, five years ago. It was a long time ago. I'm excited to see what they've done with the space. And I'm excited to see one of my favorite artists in this like little intimate space. <laughs> but first we need to focus in and get all of our work done. What an interesting week this is turning into. I meant for it just to be like a chill, productive week and um, things have kind of taken a wild turn, but we're just gonna roll with it. This is what happens. Not every week is perfect. Actually, no week is ever perfect. This is the real deal. Let's go. You said, you went, and I went, yeah? Yeah, I'm, I'm tired and I'm going to do like a million things today and I, just, I know I'm not going to have time for it and like rest is probably not really going to be a thing. Why not? Because I know other things need to happen. Rest. It's okay to rest. Okay, it is two o'clock. I finished all of the like most important work that I need to get done today. I'm starving now, so I'm gonna make lunch and then probably after lunch start getting ready. And then after I get ready, if I have enough time before tonight, then I'll get a little more work done. I think that's gonna be the best way to do this. Okay, it is, I think it's like seven o'clock, like doors just open, so we need to get out the door, but. I just wanted to show you all the fit, the look for tonight. I may have been a little extra, but come on, I'm always extra. And I haven't gotten to go to a rave or a festival or a show in two years, over two years. So I had to. The fit, the look, this top is courtesy of my friend. She was getting rid of, getting rid of a bunch of stuff and she gave this to me. The belt is from Renfest, obviously in my pashmina. I've got a fan because it'll it'll get really hot. Uh, and my new giant boots, my stomping boots. <laughs> okay, and we have to get going. I had the best time at that show with two of my partners and it's been a really long time since I got to have that much fun. Needless to say though, I did not work the next day. I jumped around and headbanged for four hours and then waited for over an hour for tacos until like 2 a.m. and it was worth it. Sure, it was a weeknight but it was absolutely worth it. So this week didn't turn out as planned. It didn't turn out to be the most productive, ideal week. But that's okay. I cried, I laughed, I made memories. And isn't that what life's about? Not work. So I set out to film a productive work week and instead I vlogged a real work week. Thank y'all so much for watching. 
I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you were able to get something out of it. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you never miss a video from me. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, y'all.